Mr. Moon and his henchmen took Mr. Sun's hatbox delivery. As a lone delivery agent, you must assemble a group of repentant hat thieves to retrieve the stolen items. To hunt down and retrieve the stolen items, you must wear a variety of trendy headgear and use different weapons. You can start small, collaborate or compete, and opt for subtle activities or riotous excursions. In Couch Co-op, you may play single or with a team, compete in head-to-head -head combat, and have headgear for every situation. The game includes mood-specific areas, as well as distinct personalities tailored to your quest. Guns and Runs is a visually attractive platformer with action and shooting aspects, created with hand-drawn pixel art. Players take on the role of eight trained conspiracy squad members on a dangerous expedition to enter a bunker in the Atacama Desert. The game includes nearly 200 trials and 23 monsters, each of which focuses on the squad members' distinct storylines. The controls are simple and straightforward but the game's intricacy necessitates considerable expertise. Players must arm themselves with weapons, protect themselves from attack, and master their dash to chain powerful actions. Lamentum is a pixel art survival horror game set in 19th century New England. Players go with nobleman Victor Hartwell to locate a treatment for his wife Alyssa. The game sends players to Grow Hill Mansion, where the Earl offers a cure, but the cost is unclear. The game requires players to meet terrifying things within the house and make decisions that might alter the story's course. Lamentum is inspired by classic survival horror titles like Resident Evil and Silent Hill, as well as cosmic horror classics like the Cthulhu Mythos. Raji and Ancient Epic is a role-playing game set in ancient India. The game follows the demons as they attack the human realm in order to revenge their failure in the previous great battle, a thousand years ago. As towns and fortifications crumble, small children are kidnapped, and the gods choose Raji, a little girl, to be the solitary guardian of the human species. To battle the evil hordes, players must master numerous weapons and talents bestowed to Raji by the gods. Enchanting stories, battles, old puzzles, and gigantic forts and palaces are all part of the game. Rainbow Moon is a role-playing game that emphasizes exploration, character development, and strategic turn-based combat. Players may customize and increase the powers of six primary characters by equipping them with upgradable weapons, armor, and accessories. The game lasts about 40 hours and includes 50 distinct quests and 20 difficult dungeons. Baldrin, a cursed character, must shut a dimensional doorway to preserve his world from catastrophe. The game's exploration, character growth, and strategic combat enthrall players. Eagle Island Twist is a roguelite action platformer with falconry-inspired fighting techniques, randomly generated stages, and difficult boss battles. Players may select between a narrative-driven adventure and a speedrunner-style rogue mode, featuring 85 skills to diversity gameplay. Classic mode allows players to combat with their owl friends in dynamically created environments full of surprises and spaces to explore. Handcrafted Twist Mode allows players to explore 45 retro-themed levels on a 16-bit period global map, as well as play a variety of mini-games. Explore the Dark Abyss, looking for crimson jewels and mysterious mysteries. Explore dangerous stores, collect helpful things, and level up to confront terrifying beasts and underground caves Prepare for an ever-changing voyage down the well, complete with features like as the incredible gun boots, unique weapons and equipment, and randomly generated stages. Equip yourself with the sleek and dangerous gun boots to unleash gunfire on hostile animals while slowing your descent. Synchronize your gameplay with powerful upgrades and distinctive weaponry. Each excursion down the well brings a new adventure. is attacked by the Merkers, an extraterrestrial species with unrivaled strength and rubber duck hats. As a guardian of Earth, you must face the Merker hordes before midnight. 
Choose amongst three characters, April, Rito, and Hun. When you spawn at Waikiki Beach, prepare to face the Merkers quickly, being attentive and engaging in fight under the light. Gather resources such as chests and power-ups to help you defeat Merker monsters more effectively. Collect mucuses dropped by vanquished Merkers as cash to progress up level trees and improve your powers. Adore is a monster taming action game in which players control and summon creatures. The game allows players to customize their characters based on the creatures they catch, each with their own set of powers. Players can experiment with various playstyles and unleash tremendous combinations. Players may engage in real-time combat, avoid assaults, and gather animals on the move. The synergy system enables players to maximize the potential of their animals. Expeditions to find Drachnar statues endow the monsters with exceptional abilities. Gunner 2 is a roguelike platformer game that follows the hero Ike, who is sent by death to assist in the elimination of a strange entity. Procedurally created stages, bright graphics, and exciting mayhem characterize the game. It is a sequel to the award-winning game Goner, which was recognized by the IGF, intense shooter action, exploring randomly generated levels, navigating through a complex level structure, using numerous heads, weaponry and upgrades, and finding secrets are all key aspects. A party co-op mode allows players to go on a mind-bending adventure together. Wrath is an outlander who finds himself on a dying globe, entrusted with tracking down the last guardians of the old globe. Players must use strong weapons and artifacts to defeat their enemies as they explore crypts, ruins, temples, and woodlands. The game embodies the spirit of classic 90s shooters, with furious action, various environments, and captivating narrative. Key features include three distinct hubs and 15 maps, exploring a dark and expansive world. Using 10 various artifacts to exert control in fight and scouring every part of each level for hidden secrets to ensure survival. The Hellwarders are a group of ancient warriors who must band together to defeat the approaching demon hordes. With their exceptional skills and talents, they must battle Hellspawn and deploy an army of knights, archers, and magicians to fortify their defense. The game blends action RPG aspects with tower defense gameplay, enabling players to select from three distinct characters, each with his own set of weapons, skills, and powers. As they go, they will obtain beacons that may be utilized to improve their skills and uncover powerful artifacts. And new rooms are unlocked as you run around in a Disc Room is an exciting game that puts players on edge with its strong atmosphere and difficult stages. To overcome problems, players must use power-ups such as dashing, time slowing, multiplication, and disc absorption. These powers can be utilized to illuminate players in pitch black rooms or to complete specified tasks. The game's dedication to generating distinct and diverse rooms is admirable. The soundtrack heightens the tension and mood, while the simple and sketch-like images give a sense of bleakness and solitude. It can get a little dark. Plunge yourself in the award-winning masterwork, which showcases the classic Sumi E-Ink art form in glorious HD. Step into the footsteps of Amaterasu, the adored Japanese sun goddess who takes the form of a mythological white wolf on a journey to defeat Orochi, the terrible eight-headed monster who has thrown Nippon into turmoil. Players can choose between a current widescreen display and the classic format of the original edition. Additionally, interactive loading windows from the original release have been kept to provide a realistic gameplay experience. Bug Fables is a role-playing game that takes place in Bulgaria, a small but rich continent where insects pursue gold and immortality. There are seven chapters in the game, as well as turn-based combat and distinctive places such as the Ant Kingdom, Snake Mouth Dean, Golden Hills, the Lost Sands, and the Bee Kingdom. To improve their strikes, players can employ action instructions and a cooking mechanism. 
There is also a tattle system for team interaction, as well as around 30 side quests and 15 alternative bosses. The enhanced version of the Indie Classic Braid allows players to manage the flow of time and overcome complex platform difficulties. The game transports players from an urban setting to linked realms where time acts strangely in quest of a mysterious princess. The Anniversary Edition includes rebuilt high-definition visuals, new sound effects, and an extended audio commentary to travel across wonderfully designed landscapes. Players may rewind, pause, and take use of each realm's unique time mechanism. Players can return to difficult tasks at a later time. This subaquatic adventure takes you on an original journey through the Earth's Ice Age, as humanity seeks refuge beneath the depths of the ocean. An adventurous aquanaut starts on an unexpected journey of exploration and investigation, pursuing an enigmatic mechanical entity into the unknown depths. The underwater world is teeming with vibrant marine life, and the protagonist must manage oxygen reserves while investigating ancient civilizations. The Averelli beautiful aquatic world is the ultimate frontier for this brave and determined final aquanaut. Getsu Fomadon Undying Moon is a hack-and-slash game that combines strong roguelike action with a gloomy fantasy realm based on traditional Japanese painting. Players must use the Getsu clan's weaponry and powers to kill several death and descend further into hell to destroy the cause of the disaster. The game includes dynamic 2D animations, as well as deadly boss confrontations with reanimated demon lords, centipedes, and hydras. Players can also employ the immersive weapon upgrading system, which allows them to gather, improve, and unlock abilities for primary and sub-weapons.